Hope everybody's having a good day. No, I made some drink, some two videos back later, you know, of a significant event, you know, for the areas you see there. And a risk for Tennessee, but much lesser than Oklahoma and Kansas there. And this is the latest. Since my last videos that I made, you know, around a month ago, I guess it was, I have had about 30 more dreams since then. It's been a bunch. And I had the latest one last night, November the 5th, 2022. And here it is. I dreamed that I was sitting at my mother's kitchen table in my former childhood home. And there was a big picture window which really did exist there. And I was facing west looking outside and, and there was just other people I remember sitting around uh, the round table and there were four chairs at the table that my mother had. And we were all talking about the possibility of a derecho in a few days. And I was telling them that a derecho had busted off a few trees, you know, in the past. And I was telling them the next derecho was in a few days again. However, this next one would be a, a violent, one with torrential rains, the winds would be like an F5 tornado. And it would hit northern Oklahoma, unlike, you know, the rest after a few short days. And it meant literally in a few short 24-hour days. A very violent derecho storm of winds and rain and like tornado Category 5 hurricane force winds would hit and well over 100 mile an hour winds. And this was my latest dream on November the 5th, 2022. Now just remember in my other videos that were around a month ago, I can't remember the exact date I made them. But about a month ago, you know, I was telling you about this thing, and and in these dreams, you know, it refers to it as like a hurricane sometimes, or a, a violent tornado, or a derecho, or a windstorm, and you know, I'll see maps of like high wind warnings for the same area, and you know, severe threats like that and stuff, and you know, whatever you call it, it just means that, you know, a significant wind event is how to put it all in perspective. And I'm just going to remind you of this. November the 5th, 2022, on the Gregorian calendar, the calendar everybody knows, that is the 11th month on the 5th day in the year of 2022. So just remember, I told you in that other video, 315, the Ides of March, March 15th, 315 on the Gregorian calendar, but 11-5 on the Roman calendar. First month is March, 15th day. And the day that you see written there, the two elevens, that's the 315th day of the year there, y'all. Extreme vetting. And the risk has gone up a lot. I have had a whole lot more confirmations and many more confirmations besides 
you know, adding about 30 more drains to the mix that I've had since those last videos. And I can't promise you and I can't swear. But I'm just telling you that a high Im impact event looks very likely. And I'm going to be honest with you about it. For very destructive winds of some sort. And y'all, war is coming. And take a hint, you know, off the word war. War is coming. And in closing here, I'm just going to say that with my truck, I think that needs to be the least of my concerns at this point. And I'm going to just say that God has basically communicated, you know, has come to me in a bunch of other dreams, and I'll just tell everybody. And he's basically said that all the ones that have egged me on to act the way that I have, and to be mad and bitter like that, and all the people that just won't help me and all that stuff and running me around, basically... Judgment is fixing to come back on them and not on me. And that's the word I've gotten repeatedly because if everybody had done what they're supposed to, I wouldn't have ever acted like that and I never would have blasphemed like that. And cursed and been that mad and I never would have talked like that. And I'm just telling you the truth. I had no desire to do it. And before I cut this off, I'm just going to tell you that the voice of frustration is one thing and the voice of knowledge is another thing. They are two different things. Flesh and spirit are two different things. And being egged on like that the flesh is like a tsunami and you can't hold it back. And I sinned and was honest about it. But now the judgment's going to be on them because I honestly did not want to act like that. Much love, everybody. And just Veterans Day, just kind of be on the lookout, you know, for, you know, a significant event not saying a hundred percent and not swearing but i'm saying looking likely much love everybody today's date is november 5th 2022